Hi, and welcome to software release update video for Axis OS 12.7. My name is Samantha, and I am with the Axis OS product management team at Axis Communications. Today, we will go through the updates and features in Axis OS 12.7 together. Let's begin with the general updates. You can now toggle overlays in both live and recorded videos. Action rules and recipients are added to the export import device configuration. From Axis OS 12.7, we support the precision time protocol, PTP. It measures time in nanoseconds accuracy while NTPs in milliseconds. A new device configuration API is launched, Network Time Sync. This API helps to configure NTP, NTS, or PTP client settings. For the cybersecurity part, we have updated curl and OpenSSL. Amazon root CA123 and 4 are added to the default CA Trust store, and several CVEs are being addressed and already patched. However, they will be externally disclosed on 11th of November and 10th of February. The details will be provided in the Axis Security Advisories. Let's dig into analytics updates. In the Axis Audio Analytics, Sound Pressure Level, SPL, is now also supported for Axis Q6300E. The possibility to get the summarized SPL value in decibel via MQTT every one minute is also added for all products. Axis Object Analytics is updated to do PTZ enhancement. PTZ correctly clears the metadata overlay to ensure a clean video stream when auto tracking is active. A new PTZ Auto Tracker 3 is released for products based on Axis Artbook 9 with the support for PTZ auto tracking. It supports linking to Axis Object Analytics scenarios to trigger tracking with three new parameters, profile timeout to home, profile scenario ID, and global max tracking time. Auto tracking has been redesigned and moved to the analytics tab in the web interface for better user experience. Lastly, we have updated Axis sensor metrics dashboards as well. And we have some product specific updates as well. There is a new API in Device Configuration APIs to display the accessories in use that are managed through the AHI port. This feature is available for products on P13, Q16, and Q17 series. Hardware modifications have been made for Axis Q8752 E Mark II in order to proactively prepare for the new NDAA 23 regulations. As a result, products with hardware ID 4A4 only support Active Track 12.7 and later. Support for Siren Light network pairing is also provided for the listed products. Furthermore, the day night CGI is added to allow tuning of the day and night settings for the products that are listed. We also have added support for SIP to the InformerCast integration for the mentioned products. And finally, we have a few updates in the Axis Audio Manager Edge. Added the possibility to visualize the negotiated PoE class. The dashboard and the music volume pages have gotten a revamp and music volume is renamed to playback. Added the possibility to distribute the content player's load to the follower devices. Let's talk about the new features in more details. Export import device configuration. It enables users to perform necessary configuration on a single device, export the settings to a JSON file, and then import this configuration to other devices via web interface. This feature was initially released in Axis OS 12.4 and has been gradually complemented. Now we have added the action rules and recipients to the export list as well. Please note that this feature is still in beta and it is not switched on by default. To use it, you must toggle it on first. 
Precision Time Protocol. PTP measures time in nanoseconds accuracy, while NTP is in milliseconds. The PTP implementation leverages IEEE 1588 PTP v2 with hardware timestamping. This feature needs to be enabled manually, and if not, NTP is still the default setting. You will find it in the web interface under date and time. Please note that only products on Axis ARCPEC 8, ARCPEC 9, 8M Mini, 8M Nano, and 6SX support this feature. And that was the updates in Axis OS 12.7. The next video comes in January 2026, covering the Axis OS 12.8 release. Stay tuned. Thanks for listening. For more information, explore the provided links. And do not forget to subscribe to our AxisOS playlist on YouTube. Until next time, take care and goodbye.